Thank God I went to prison. That's what Oscar Nieto will tell anyone who asks about his salvation experience. You see, Oscar was arrested in the Miami airport. He was charged with drug possession and trafficking. As a result of that, he was sentenced to 100 years in prison. While he was still at the detention center over in Miami, someone gave Oscar a Gideon's New Testament. Oscar had a little time on his hands, so he sat down and read that book, and in it he discovered the greatness of God and realized that his relationship with the Lord was a whole lot more important than money. After serving two years, his sentence was overturned and he returned to Columbia. Oscar said that God reduced my sentence from 100 years to two years and restored my home and my company. Oscar Nieto came to the USA with heroin in his stomach and he went home with Jesus Christ in his heart. That's why he will always say, thank God I went to prison. The Gideons International receives inspiring and incredible testimonies like Oscar's all the time. That's why Gideons serve in this unique ministry to see lives turn to Christ after reading a New Testament or a Bible. Now for many, when they hear the word Gideons, they think of those ubiquitous Bibles that they see in a hotel and motel rooms everywhere. Now this is a, an important and large part of the Gideons. Gideons International was formed in 1899 out in Wisconsin. And ever since, they have been placing Bibles in hotel and motel rooms around the world. Yet, this only comprises 8% of their worldwide ministry. They are so much more than that. With contributions from local churches, they distribute New Testaments and Bibles to colleges, schools, hospitals, prisons, and many other important public places. They give out scriptures to police, fire, and emergency personnel, and also the armed forces serving both at home and overseas. Now the Gideons, they're not some secret far, far away organization. They're made up of local professional and businessmen in local churches. Matter of fact, all Gideons and their wives are members of local churches. The Gideons International is organized in more than 190 countries, and they are unique in that their members live in the countries where they serve. They're not just visitors in countries like Sudan, Haiti, Nepal, or the Ukraine. They live and work there, sharing the gospel, and copies of God's Word with their fellow citizens, friends, and family. Last year alone, all these Gideons distributed more than 84 million copies of God's Word around the world in over 90 languages. They're seeing results in places like India, where scripture distributions have increased dramatically and could grow even more if there were more funds available to buy more scriptures. The Gideons are also reaching people for Christ right here at home. Not long ago, they distributed more than 1,700 copies of God's Word at the Highlands County Fair to young people there. The single purpose of the Gideons is to see lost people come to faith in Christ, and they seek to accomplish this goal with personal witnessing and distributing copies of God's Word. Time and time again, they find that once someone reads a Bible or a New Testament, lives are changed forever. Take the case of Bernie Dimmitt. Bernie was a hard-nosed businessman down in Australia. But as it can so easily happen, things took a turn for the worse for Bernie, and while he was staying at a hotel in Brisbane, he considered suicide. But there just happened to be in that room a Gideon's Bible. And Bernie just happened to pick that Bible up and read it. And in the pages of that book, he discovered Jesus Christ and a reason to go on living. Today, Bernie is the CEO and Bible teacher in ChristianityWorks.com. Christianity Works broadcast Christian programming to 140 countries. 
over a network of 1,000 radio stations to an audience of more than 10 million listeners. And Bernie regularly receives testimonies from his listeners about how their lives have been changed for the better because of that broadcast that he does. Now, Bernie is very modest. He will say that all that he has accomplished at Christianity Works is merely a ripple effect of that one Gideon's Bible in that room in Brisbane. It's been more than 50 years now that prayer has been taken out of the schools in this country. And this has made it increasingly difficult for the Gideons to accomplish one of their primary goals of getting the God's Word into the hands of our youth in schools from grades 5 through 12. But you'll be interested to know that our new avenue of distribution has recently opened up to help the Gideons reach the youth of America. This new program, which is facilitated by church youth pastors, involves the in-school peer-to-peer distribution by Christian high school youth to their classmates of an attractive booklet called The Life Book. Through this developing program, over 14 million copies of this life book, which contains the Gospel of John, has been provided to Christian youth for distribution to their peers in schools. And this new avenue of scripture distribution further strengthens the Gideon's program of getting the Word of God into the hands of our young people in schools. Prisons are another location where Gideons distribute Bibles. Amazing stories come to the Gideons from behind prison bars. Take the case of Bladem. He was in prison in the Ukraine suffering from tuberculosis. Because of his severe illness and incarceration, he decided to commit suicide. So he asked one of his cellmates to get him a sharp knife so he could kill himself. Not long afterwards, he found a package on his bunk and he quickly opened it, hoping that it would be the knife that he requested. But when he opened that package, he flew into a rage. It was not the knife that he was looking for, but rather a New Testament from the Gideons. He was angry. He did not even want to look at it. He pushed it away. Now the prison doctor there was aware of Bladem's severe depression and his condition. He came by to check on Bladem, expecting to find a dead man in that cell, but he was astounded to find that not only was Bladem alive, but he was happy and in good spirits. He asked one of his cellmates, what did you give him? He couldn't understand it. And the cellmate said, we gave him a copy of a New Testament from the Gideons. And once he started reading it, he stayed up all night talking to God. Bladem told that doctor, I have received Jesus in my heart. It was evident that God had stopped death and healed him. That doctor, who was a high-ranking official in that prison, fell to his knees and said, God Almighty, only you could have done this. God strengthened Bladem physically and spiritually, and while he was in that prison and when he was set free, he returned to his village and joined the local evangelical church. Right now, billions of people are in need of God's Word. Millions of them right here in the United States. Let me say that again. Millions of people in our own country don't know the Lord Jesus as their Savior. There are people living on our streets that need Lord Jesus. And the Gideons need your help to reach them, starting with prayer. First, pray that the Gideons will have a steady flow of funds coming in so they can buy more scriptures and distribute them. Second, Pray that more men would join the Gideons to help in this growing need for distributing God's Word around the world in more than 190 countries. And finally, and most important, pray that all those adults and children that receive those scriptures will not only open them, but also open their hearts to receive Christ. Now, if God has spoken to your heart about this ministry today, please consider making a financial gift to the Gideons International. When you give to the Gideons, you impact lives for Christ. For the investment of only a dollar and a quarter, 
You can provide for the purchase and the placement of one of these New Testaments around the world. Gideon placed hotel and motel Bibles like this one cost just $5. And each of these Bibles has the potential to reach more than 2,300 people during its average life in a hotel or motel room. Imagine this. One of these Bibles has the potential to affect over 2,000 lives right here in Highlands County. This is something even more exciting. It's recently been announced that the Gideons International is now legally distributing scriptures in China. And to date, they've distributed more than 2.8 million copies in 14 different provinces. These scriptures are distributed by international Gideon teams and available for distribution through Christian-owned businesses. And the Gideons continually praise God for the doors that are opening across Asia where one and three people on earth live. For example, last year in India alone, they distributed over one million copies of scriptures per month in that country. And they thank the local churches so much that make that possible. Now for your convenience, if you want to dis contribute to the Gideons, you can go online and get their address or check with your local church. Another extremely effective and good way to contribute to the Gideons is with Gideon cards. They're available in most churches. If they're not there, ask for them and they will put them there. But with these cards, you can use them to recognize an important event, to let someone know you're thinking of them or to place scriptures in memory of a loved one. This is a unique and memorable way to touch lives with God's word and at the same time to honor someone close to your heart. Look for the display in your church. <clears throat> if it's not there, ask for one and the Gideons will gladly put one there. I'd like to thank the Through the Gathering Storm organization for allowing me to come here and tell you about the Gideons International. I urge you to support this group because the work they are doing is so important in spreading the word of God around the world. Thank you very much.